Hi and welcome to Drummers Review. I'm Nolly and today we're going to be taking a look at a Jalapeno 21st Anniversary Drum Kit. Jalapeno Drums is a one-man custom shop based in Lancashire up in the north of England, run by David Nuttall. David's creations are clearly quite way off the beaten path, serving to deliver unique sounds and solutions without treading the same ground as most builders and manufacturers. We reviewed Jalapeno's 20th anniversary kit and really enjoyed what it offered, yet these 21st anniversary drums are almost the polar opposite in terms of spec and sizes, so they promise to be very different beasts. Tying in with the theme of 21, David has constructed 21 ply, 11 mm thick birch shells. These are topped off with birch hoops and aluminium hardware. The kit features a 24 by 13 inch bass drum, a 13 by 9 inch rack tom, 16 by 16 inch floor tom, and a 14 by 7 inch snare, and the whole setup would set you back around £2,800. With our interest well and truly piqued by this unique kit, we were intrigued to see how it held up under review. Let's hear a few more clips first though before we get to our findings. Seeing the kit for the first time, it makes quite a bold impression with the black burst finish and black hardware, giving a dark vibe. Up close you can see the natural oil finish and get more of the sense of the drums being hand worked, perhaps slightly rougher edges than some other custom shop drums we see. Visually, the proportions of the large but shallow bass drum and the 13 and 16 tom combination give it a vintage silhouette, further enhanced by the wood hoops and tension claws. But Jalapeno's custom aluminium lugs and Gibraltar hardware looks distinctly more modern. Unusually, the wood hoops sit very low due to the way the head is held by a flange halfway up the hoop. This means they're well out of the way of your sticks and also makes the drums look a little bit shorter in depth than you'd expect. So the snare, for example, looks way shallower than its actual 7 inch depth. Once we started setting up, our attention was drawn to those ultra thick 21 ply shells. We've only ever seen shells like this used for snare drums, so it's a totally new experience for us to hear the toms and kick. In terms of heads, this kit features aquariums all around with clear response twos over high energy resos on the toms, a force X batter over an unbranded resonant head on the snare, and a force two batter and unported reso on the bass drum. Tuning up, it was quite difficult to get the shells going, and I ended up having to tune higher than I typically would 
in order to get some resonance going. One of the characteristics of thick shells is that they're going to need more energy to drive them to resonate. Add to this the light wood hoops, the low mass hardware and large vents, all of which tend to shorten the sound of a drum. And you can probably see where this is going. These are extremely dry sounding drums. Sonically, the bass drum is jaw dropping. The dryness of the shell combined with the large diameter and short depth all add together to a drum that's got a ferocious attack, a huge blast of low end and then a quick decay. It's pretty ground shaking and projects well into the room though from the player's perspective, the resonance is more felt than heard. The rack tom is where you really feel the dryness of the construction choices most clearly. The attack is very prominent, with the note being so much quieter than in context it's quite difficult to make out at all. Although arrived at from a completely different direction, the vibe is a little bit vintage in that it's got a strong mid-range puffiness and the top end is quite rolled off. The floor tom also had a loud attack and lower mid-range focus. Here the sustain is quite a bit longer though, due no doubt in part to the heavy duty floor tom legs used during the review. It's really beefy, though as you expect with such thick shells it doesn't exactly feel resonant from the player's perspective. The snare again has a strong mid-range with subdued high end. The sustain is really short, again adding up to quite an old school sound, despite the construction being the opposite of vintage drums, where minimal plies or even solid shells were typically used. With the wires disengaged, the dryness of the snare still worked really well, meaning it still felt precise and articulate where other drums can get a bit out of control. The wood hoops also contribute to a very pleasing cross stick character without any harsh metallic overtone. Overall, we keep coming back to the dryness of the kit, which is obviously gonna be love or hate, depending on the kinds of drum sounds you like. Personally, it took me a while to come around to it, but I found it grew on me a lot as I stopped trying to compare it to contemporary drums with their long, clean sustain, and instead embraced the unique character that this jalapeno kit possesses. Nick, on the other hand, was smitten with these drums from the beginning, feeling that they'd be ideal for recording situations where the volume and the short voice of the kit would make them ideal under microphones. I reckon these same qualities will also make them really suitable for live use, especially in classic rock styles. Build quality wise, we have to be honest and say they don't really have the final level of polish that we're used to seeing from kits that command price tags of this kind. The tension rods are quite stiff and inconsistent to operate, making tuning a fairly arduous process and I found it difficult to achieve even pitches from lug to lug on each drum, so the tones all have a wobble that I personally wouldn't be all that happy with if it were my kit. With that said, the drums feel very sturdy and will definitely stand up to heavy use and the chunky hardware will keep them solid for years to come. There's certainly no shortage of custom drum builders in the UK, but what Jalapeno offers should stand out to drummers who like something a bit different from the norm. And with 21 years behind him, David has proven there is a market for what he does. Do we think this kit is going to appeal beyond the niche that Jalapeno serves? Not really, no, but it's definitely a sound that we've not heard before. And for the right customer, it's going to be worth the money to have it in their collection. At worst, it's an interesting set of drums to have tried out, but at best, it's a totally left field approach the results in a unique combination of classic sounds with a lot more volume and impact than any vintage kits are capable of. With that said, what do you guys think about this kit? Are you into it or is it not your cup of tea? We'd love to hear from you, so definitely leave us a comment below. Click on the subscribe button and the bell icon so you can be notified of our future videos. And we'll look forward to seeing you next time on Drums Review.